Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Roberta Di Francesco. I, I go Rolando, we're gonna be the speaker today for the first day of finals of the European 3D Championships here in uh, San Sicario, Cesana, in Italy. For those who are new to 3D archery, uh, teams are gonna shoot three arrows to each target. Uh, compound is gonna shoot from the red pack and wearable and uh, um, long bows are gonna shoot from the blue pack. Here we have uh, our first match of the day, which is the women team gold final. It's France against Italy. We have Bomar Alicia for France and uh, with Du Nathalie and uh, Elmar Danai and uh, Bassi Juana from Team Irene and Cinzia Nozilla for Team Italy. You can see that in the quarterfinals, France beat Finland 85-83, uh, and then uh, Austria in the semifinals 88-99, while the Italian uh, team beat Czech Republic in the quarterfinals 81-104, and in the semifinals they beat Spain 86-97. Okay, uh, the teams are approaching the first pack. They're gonna shoot uh, uh, against uh, a target made of uh, like a raccoon. So I think team of France are gonna start shooting. Yeah, you can see from the live stream that they had like a picture of the target where they can see the, the spot where they need to aim and the compound is approaching the peg and firstly they need to understand and uh, kind of guess the distance where we where they are shooting Okay, so Anais is shooting the first arrow of these finals. Let's see what what she got. Okay, so obviously when they are approaching the the second peg, the blue one, which is more uh, near the the target, they need to. Re, re guess the distance and uh, hopefully that should be a little easier because they had also the indication from the first archer but they can also talk about it when they are all together at the peg okay we don't have the live results now but yeah they did a pretty solid and looks like 11, 11, 10. Yeah. So, yes, so. the inner circle of the spot in the animal counts uh, 11 points. Then the second circle is 10 points, 8 points for the third one, and 5 points if you hit the, the target in outside the, the spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, for Italy, Irene Franchini is starting with the compound, so from the red pack. The team of Italy is approaching this final being the reigning uh, European champion S since they have won uh, in Maribor two years ago against Austria. Yeah, that probably is an 11 liner, I think. So, team from Italy is approaching the blue pack. Cinzia Nazilia is gonna shoot the second arrow. That's 
seems like a um, liner tan, yeah. maybe eight. Should be. And also, now the results from France just popped on the screen, so they should be at 28, but we need uh, to check that on the target. And, and that is a five. So, two pretty solid ends to start this final. Mm -hmm. And let's just see something more about uh, the archers competing, should we? Okay, we can start with the team of France. Um, Alicia Boumer come from a pretty solid week last week uh, here in San Sicario when she became European champion in field archery. She beat Cinzia Nazilia, so the other bubble bearable we can see here in the gold medal match. Then we we obviously know Cinzia because she had like three silver medals just last week in the European Championships, field championships. And also Irene was second uh, individual in uh, the European Field Championships and they are now approaching the second target. Okay, since France has 30 points and Italy has only 26, Italy is starting to shoot first. And they should be shooting on the target resembling the turkeys, I think. Yeah, they're gonna shoot on target 3 which is the turkey because they are now shooting the second target the, the mouflons okay so Irene is shooting now yes that is definitely an 11 so a pretty solid arrow to start the second yeah, end yeah, yeah. and they obviously need it yeah also in 3D archery more even than in field archery starting with a solid first arrow helps all of, help all of the team to understand distance and so that the next archers are can focus only on shielding and they kind of know the distance since the member of the team can talk to each other mm, yes because there is a 10 and I shot just uh, just to to explain a little bit in um, in field archery we shoot on uh, target faces that are yellow and black and we all know the distance wow, well another 11 for Ooh. a long bow yeah. sorry to interrupt yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that is an impressive end. Yeah, that is definitely <laughs> stunning. It, it is trying to put pressure on team from France. Yeah. Imagine if that was a shoot-off. I think that could <laughs> literally be in be unbeatable, maybe. Yeah, and it's interesting that the arrow of the longbow, I think that was the closest one. To yeah. The center, so. Yeah, right. Wow. So we have a almost perfect end for Italy, which is 32 and a maximum of 33 and let's see how the French team reacts Didn't seem much happy with that shot and it landed in the 8 ring. I don't think she got the distance really right maybe since it's up yeah. high. Yeah, it seems like she has charged for something like a meter or two longer than it actually is. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, no that, that is a 5 that should a be. Five. And here you can see, since he hit the turkey, she still got a 5. Mm -hmm. if if it was some like five centimeters lower, she would have hit the base of the target and that would mean zero. Yeah, because we can see a distinct line 
that separates the missing area from the the area which is actually target. So the the area scoring five points, and uh, I think the tables have turned because now we are 51-58 for Italy. So that means teams from France is gonna start shooting on the third end of this match. Okay, so this shows pretty well how in 3D archery everything can turn in just a few seconds. Because <laughs> it's really easy to misjudge a distance and that will mean win or lose an entire match. Yeah, and also with like uh, long bow and bear bow, we all know that every arrow really reflects a lot on the arrows and so that really really puts everything to the test when they are shooting a final okay, we can see the team I, I think we can hear also from the video the teams are cheering mm -hmm. and France is approaching the pack and they should be shooting on the targets resembling the beavers and now we can see the, the French archer trying to guess the distance with, uh, with her hand trying to reach and see how distant it is That should be an... Um, I think that's liner 10. Yeah, I think so. We kind of see the spot from here. But she she found distance pretty good. Mm -hmm. Because she was a, that, that was a little bit on the right. But nice shot. And this should this be a 5-2. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, close to the line. She got it. And now European champion shooting. And an eight? Is that is an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High eight. And also here we have a pretty good example of why it's really important to check with the scope and the uh, and the picture that they have where the actual scoring area is. We can see that now they are talking with each other to kind of have a feeling about the distance. Obviously then I think the archer shooting must have his own idea because otherwise that could affect their aiming process maybe. So Irene aiming right now. Beautiful shot again, an 11, just spot on. Yeah. So again, a uh, pretty good guess from Team Italy. Oh, stunning. Another great show. They should be just outside. No, oh, no. 11. Yeah, they told that it's an 11 and we will take it. So, Joanna is approaching the show. Also, we, we know that she was second okay. last year in the... In the World Championships, in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that took place in Terni, 
Italy. Yes. Italy. But the Italian archers actually are all pretty good, pretty amazing actually individual shooters in 3D. So since our last year in turn, Cinzia won the gold, Yuana won silver, and Irene came out full. And they, yeah, they, they should. I think they were the team who won the European Championship two years ago. So uh, a solid team too. Yeah, as we can see here, they got a total of 14 medals, and they were first. And second was Austria with nine medals, so they, yeah, they were... Yeah, Italy is, uh, <laughs> is a strong country in 3D art, art archery. I mean, they, it's kind of... Uh, happens frequently that they win the medal ranking, medal standings rank, mm -hmm. so... So now they're leading by 14 points right now. We. We have to wait the confirmation from the judge, but yeah, it is. Yeah, so they are shooting on the on the, the last. Yeah, they the are last starting. Time. So the boards should be. And team of France is starting again since their. So again, trying to talk with the coach, talk all together. And just to put some like four minds to it because I mean could be better yeah they really need three strong shots if they if they want to keep the game open yeah and also to put some pressure on the Italians, uh, the Italians. okay we're ready to shoot the first arrow Seemed like a good shot. But I think that's an eight. A low mm. eight, a little bit on the right. Yeah, I think so too. So, longbow and barebows have everything in their end now. Barebow is approaching to shoot the second arrow. She just released it. Oh, that, that, that's five. Another low arrow for her. That's five. So let's see how they're gonna close this match. Yes, mm -hmm. good shot. Should be at maybe ten. I don't know. We really can't see it clearly from here, so we should wait for the... Confirmation. That was a 10. Yeah. That was a good shot to close this end. So now... Ita Italians need to shoot 13 or higher if they want to secure the, um, the gold the medal. Victory, yeah. mm -hmm. We can hear the, the cheerings now, obviously. It's always fun to hear those, and I mean, when you are shooting, it really is relieving every time that someone cheers for you. Maybe it's yeah, it's my know. opinion. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, you know, you're not alone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because yeah, we are, you're always alone on the pack or on the shooting line, of course. But knowing that people behind you are trying to be with you mm -hmm. as much as they can. I mean, I find it kind of relaxing, but also gives you energy and mo motivation, at yeah. least for me. Yeah, I mean, it it gives courage and it's also really reassuring. Nice shot, I think. Oh, that should be a 10 yeah, I for think Irene so. Franchini. Just inside the line. Okay, so they are now like five points away. They call it an eight, so we need. They need at five least. points at least if they want to close the match. There's so. no way we can have a shoot off here. So the deer is safe for this first <laughs> match. <laughs> 
Chinsia is pushing the shot. That was a yeah. quick shot, but uh -huh. it was certainly enough. So, so we yeah. Italy just already won the title, but let's see what Juana has for her last arrow of this match. And oh that, my God. that is not an eight, I think. Yeah, an eight. So here they are, we can see their smi the smile on their faces. Juana Bassi, Cinzia Lanziglia and Irene Franchini are European champion again. Yeah. So they just secured the title once again. Yes, congratulations. They actually they have shot a really high score. Yeah. The team has shot brilliantly because Ali. They, yeah, they also just the highest score they shot today was 104 against Czech Republic, and they just did it better right yeah, now. It was it's, it is something like an arrow mode. Yeah. So, amazing. Um, it was amazing shooting also for a uh, final. France, but also team of France shot really good actually. Yeah. So they shot 85 on the first match, 99 in the semi-finals and they shot again 99. Yeah. So pretty solid for uh for, for them team. Too, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But and it wasn't enough. Italian team was on fire today. <laughs> yeah. And they are European champion again. Huge congratulations to these three amazing athletes and also to the athletes from France. Yeah, the silver medalists here. Now it's we time for... We will see again Alicia Boumer on the gold medal match for Berbo at 20 past 15 against the team of Spain. And we will see again also Ioana uh, in two matches for the longbow for medal match. Well, oh, no, also Irene Franklin is going to shoot on the last match of the day. For the compound mixed team gold medal match. Against Austria. And it's interesting because in the next match we're going to see Nico Wiener, which will be the opponent of Irene in the last match. He is now he's about to shoot on the uh, men team gold medal match, which will see team of Austria against team of Norway. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they we can see that from the ranking we had uh, the Norwegian team eighth and the Austrian team, which was third. Do we have the previous results? We okay, the teams are entering in the final field. So for Norway, we will see uh, Lee Eivind as a compound, Palm Pariva as a verbal, and Solidas as a longbow. For, for Austria, we will have Klaus Buster, Franz Hart, and Nico Wiener, which we were talking about just now. So now it's Team Austria deciding who shoots first and let's see if they want to shoot first or if they want their opponent to shoot first. So Team Austria decided to shoot first, while we saw just in the match before that Italy let France shoot first. 
Why do you think they did that? What do you do? Uh, I think that's because you can you can learn something from the error of the other team. If the other team or shoot, uh, for example, three high arrows, you could guess that the, the, the target seems farther than it actually is. Uh, we can see different strategies to cope with the difficulties in 3D archery. Mm -hmm. And Miko shot the first arrow of the match, it's an 11, yeah. solid start. Seems like it. Yeah, I mean, you're right, because if, if it was a tricky shot, you can guess something from the from the arrows the, the first team is shooting. Okay, I think they are still guessing about the, the measures because the the longbow and the bear bow are approaching the the blue peg. And okay. oh, wow. uh, that <laughs> was a, a shaky, <laughs> a shaky, I don't know. Okay, so two eights to complete the first end of Austria. Okay. 27 points, still a pretty solid start. Yeah. Trying to put pressure on the team of Norway, who has approached the pack right now. The compound is starting to shoot first. So Lee Avind. Oh, that was a quick judging. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was sure about. <laughs> yeah, they were taking a guess from afar, maybe. Uh, okay. That's an eight. I think that's an eight, maybe nine or ten. No, they call it an eight. But I don't think there is an error on the judging because it was like just perfect height, but at three o'clock, so just right. Maybe an error with something in the um, in the shot, or maybe in yeah. the aiming. Because he seems a little bit like disappointed. <laughs> disappointed. Yeah. In his shot. Yeah. Okay. Another eight. Yeah. From Norway. Now we will see what the longbow will do. So it's an eleven here to to tie the to first tie stand. The first stand. Anything less, and they will start in the second end. That was a quick shot, and it was a. But it was a strong ten. shot, I think. Yeah, I think so. That, that's ten. Pretty solid star for oh. for both of the team. They, they call, call it an eight liner, yeah. Yeah, but so we need to wait for confirmation from the judges. But one of the trickiest part of 3D archery, I think. Uh, is that you cannot really see the center of the target while yeah. in target archery or field archery you have the yellow you aim the yellow here you can also you you need to remember where the spot is because you don't really see the spot when you're yeah, aiming I think that for this reason is really important to check the photo of the of the target first and also to check again with the scope because otherwise you could you, you could aim in the wrong place yeah. and show the best arrow of your life but I, I mean I think more some of the errors in left or right mistakes yeah. could be made by that because since you're not sure or you need to remember where the spot is but it's really easy I think to aim in the turn or yeah. just make some some mistakes about that yeah, it's really tricky, you're right. Uh, I think 3D is a uh, really interesting uh, specialty. Yeah. Okay, so they're approaching the second target of the day. Uh, team for of, of Norway is trying to shoot first. And they're shooting on the move loss, I think. Yeah. So, target number two. But I think there's an error actually in the graphics here. No? 
Mm. Okay. Be no team is stepping back. So okay. I think there's been a mistake or something like that. Just. Oh. Shouldn't be 27 the total of the Austrian team. Just. Oh, maybe the one of the line were. Yeah, I think we have some. We had an error. The graphics, maybe. Okay, no, Nico is approaching the pack, so Timo Fostra is starting. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay, so we had the confirmation. Uh, the arrows from from Austria, they they weren't um, 11s, so Norway is two points ahead and the Austrian team is starting to shoot first. Okay, that is a 10? Like... Oh, that was a five, the last 10. Oh the arrow yeah. of Austrian team was a 5 on the previous, oh, that's why. previous target. That's why. Yeah, I mean, it also, s what what's really even tricky is that, just like we, we've we <laughs> seen, uh, a line can change like a matter of three points. Yeah, so and I think that's an eight. Sorry yeah, if I interrupt. But yeah, in differently than other speciality when a line means one point, yeah. here you can see the from... The, the animal to the first line of the spot, you have a difference of three points, mm -hmm. which is kind of a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since they're not even shooting many arrows. Ooh, and that's, that's a pretty solid shot. Ten. It's a ten. Yeah, it's from the bear ball. Nice hand for Austria. 28 points, trying to put pressure <laughs> yeah. on team from Norway. And we are sure about them because there were no liner points this time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so we can see that now the Norwegian compound is trying to be a little more comfortable with the, his foot placing, um, just because it's really, really important in both in field and 3D to be really balanced and steady. That is a 10 again, I think. Okay, so uh, so the first arrow of Norwegian team was pretty good start. Ten, maybe eleven. Solid first shot. Now you can Ooh. see. Wow, uh, eleven yeah. for the bearable in. <laughs> And it was just so, so steady as a shot, I think. It was just a quick, strong shot for me. Really impressing. And that is a uh, Nate, yeah. So we need to see about that first one. I'm not really sure that is an 11. So... So anyways, even if we have another 11 from Norway, Austria is starting to shoot first. They are maybe three or four points behind, which, I mean, as we've seen in the last match, it could be a matter of one arrow to change. So let's see how the third end will be. We have seen uh, in the previous match that Norway beat uh, in the quarterfinals France uh, 94 at 86, and then in the semifinals they beat Spain with 112, which is really really impressive. Then we have the team from Austria, which in quarterfinal beat Germany just from two points 96 94, and then in the semifinals they beat Sweden. 106 against 90 points. 
I think now they are just checking that liner arrow from Norway. Uh, no, Norway, Norway was eighth uh, after the qualification, but they are shooting, shooting some am amazing matches today. So what an impressive shoot! And that, that's the best part of the of the matches. I mean, every, everything can happen. 55-52 is confirmed. So Austria is starting to shoot first also in the third end we we have to wait to know where they're shooting yeah i mean if they are not moving maybe they will shoot on the turkeys or i i think so i think the same okay uh, now they're just taking the arrows back uh, here uh, i i can see the uh Austrian team has some really good individual shooters here because Nico Biener was a uh, world champion in Turney last year and also Klaus came out first in Langbow last year but in the previous year he was shooting instinctive bow so that's an interesting change of, yeah. Yeah, you're of right. bow here he came out second with his distinctive bow in Maribor. First arrow from Ingotburg. Should, should, should be, be an 11. 11, I think. Nice shot. And nice shot to start. Also, Nico was a silver medalist in the compound mixed team last year in uh, the in World 10. 3D Championships. And uh, the longbow mixed team was third and they were first in the traditional mixed team so another great team in 3d archery of course yeah and as we said before they were second uh, yeah. just after italy for the for their number of medals at Tarni. so okay so the bear boy is shot while we were talking yeah uh, yeah shot five yeah so two fives i think I yeah. ah no yeah. that was an eight for an eight. I honestly don't think so because that is the line where you put the the, the center of the target but it's not the scoring line. So, first arrow for Norway in ten. that stand. I mean, he is still on the right. He is still on the right. You're yeah. Right. You're right. <laughs> From the first one. I think also the second maybe. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, that that, that was, uh, I think, liner 11. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> that's interesting how we can notice things. Uh, probably you don't even notice when you're shooting yeah. because here you're so focused oh that, that's another time yeah from great the shot table. when you're shooting i think i think you're so focused on guessing the distance or talking with your teammates trying to help them and it's easy to lose little things like that yeah and also like you're really more focused on shooting a good arrow and that's the most important thing for me that is a five. That's a five. So 25 points, maybe 26 for Norway on this third end. So I think we still need to check that eight, that last eight from Austria. Yeah, they, they both need some com confirmations from the judges. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And we will see how they mark those arrows. Okay, so they're approaching the the last end, yeah. and team of Austria is still starting. I think they're gonna shoot on target six, which are boars. 
Yeah, me. Yeah, I mean they are standing next to that stop, so they should be shooting on the boards. And oh yeah, we oh. see now that it was a five from Austria, just as I thought, because. We c we could really see like two really distinct lines, and the the inner line was yeah. the eight, uh, yeah. while the um, the yeah, okay. line in the outside was actually the um, the center of the, the target. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which is the sign of the center, mm -hmm. which is obviously exchangeable, so you don't have to just. <laughs> throw toss away, yeah, <laughs> toss the whole target for the center, which is ruined. Okay, Nico is approaching the pack. Now we are seven, seven. points ahead for Norway, so you they, they really, really need, need to three a good solid uh, end. Yeah. Okay, Shisha. Uh, I think that's a ten. Yeah, just Pretty solid side. side. But that's a solid start. In fact, oh, the this target is also really distant from for where, yeah. where from where they're they're shooting. So ten ten is a good yeah. is a good start. It's also a little bit uphill, so it could be tricky just to to balance and to get the sight right. Yeah, and that that's an a, eight. Yeah, there is an eight. And it was a really, really quick shot, but I mean, we are used to that from bare bows and long bows. Let's see, the last arrow, maybe the last arrow of this match for Austria. Austria. Uh, what's interesting about this team? On oh, that, that's another 10. Yeah, it, that's another 10, a yeah, uh, pretty yeah. solid end. For team of Austria trying to put pressure on team of Norway, so they need to s to score at least 12 points to to win the medal, but maybe 13 because we don't know if the last arrow of Austria was 10 or an 11. Yeah, the the no. first arrow. The first arrow. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that's. Pretty, pretty solid way to close the match. Mm -hmm. Or well, trying to keep it open at yeah. least. Let's see. See, as I was saying, the interesting thing about Austrian team is that two guys are shooting with um, be with uh, bows made of wood. So also yeah. the bare bow, <laughs> actually. Yeah, he's I not shooting with a really common, <laughs> really mm. common bow. So I'm sorry if I made some mistake. <laughs> oh and no, there that is a that's an eight. Yeah. So the door is open. Compound shot an eight. Yeah, and it, th I think that was misjudging because it was really far from the the center. Yeah, or maybe really on the line of yeah. of the eight. Either he was aiming there or he got I the distance I wrong. I don't know. But that that that's what is interesting about 3D. Everything can change in just the blink of an eye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Berbo is shedding. He has been pretty solid for the match, I think. And that is an eight. That is another eight. So eight. 96 points, five to tie, but that could not be enough. So, so it's eight to win. If they want to win, they need an eight. And longbow, pretty. It's under pressure here. Fast, quick shot. That's a five. Oh wow! So now we really that need to that check that. We, we arrow it could be people. even. Could be even, or the Austrians actually have won. If that, the that what a plot twist. Yeah, what a plot twist on the last end of this match. Let's yeah. wait for the confirmation. Uh, we have heard Austrian cheering. Yeah. I don't know if it was for... For, for the shoot-off. Yeah, for the shoot-off or the actual win. I honestly... 
I, I honestly think, think that the, the first error was a 10. Yeah, me too. But we need to wait for an official confirmation from the judge. Yeah. We can see he's calling the arrows right now. That little sign from... Okay, so it's shoot off now, I think. We just had the confirmation, right? Yeah. Okay, we are waiting for the shoot offs now. We have a confirmation here. First shoot off of this oh my God. final day. So the deer is not safe <laughs> now. The gun show on the amazing target up here over there. Yeah. Last week, I think we had the, the 60 meters there. Yeah. And it was really challenging. <laughs> yeah, it was a challenging target to show. Yeah, we both shoot there, so yeah. do we know that? <laughs> yeah, Roberta here, she is the European Junior Champion <laughs> in recurve bow. So she actually also an amazing end on that target, so <laughs> she's an expert. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was my third try on that target, <laughs> so... <laughs> also, Aiko is silver medalist for the compa uh, compound <laughs> what? No. <laughs> recurve. For a recurve mixed team with Massimiliano Mandia. And silver medalist for the, the women team. So... <laughs> yes, no, we, we, we are actually <laughs> two recurve bow shooters. <laughs> so. No, not an expert. We have never shot 3D, but we I, I think we're falling in love with 3D this yeah. week. <laughs> That's I mean, such an, uh, an interesting competition. Imagine shooting like in a shoot-off without knowing the <laughs> distance you're shooting at. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that could kill me. Yeah, you know, I, I the, the nerve the nerve you need to shoot a uh, shoot off uh, also in uh, 70 meters where yeah. the target is just over there yeah. is <laughs> no no it's way c c would be way too much for me <laughs> yeah i mean okay so austria uh austria is shooting first since they have decided to start the match i mean in this case i think they i don't know I would prefer in field and target archery to shoot first a shoot off, but here it's just you need to guess the distance. So I I, don't know. I think it's different, but yeah. yeah. Let's see. Ooh, that that is that's an eight. So that is a, a pretty big door, I think. Yeah, but uh, I as mean, we have seen in 3D, the door is always open. But uh, I mean, imagine to shoot a target like this. It's a really tricky shot because not it's not just a really far target, mm -hmm. but it's all also really uphill. So you, oh, oh wow, th that could be a liner eleven. <laughs> no, 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 I was wrong. That is a ten. It's a pretty solid ten. I mean, but still a pretty solid shot. So that wasn't really misjudged, I think. <laughs> I mean, was really, really a good arrow. Also yes. from a longbow, so. Now we have. Uh, and oh my god, that could that be. That could be a 10. No, that. Yeah, that could yeah, be a 10. Be a ten. They yeah, an 8 liner. Yeah. We need to check that, I think. So. so 26 points for team of Austria. Let's see what the opponent will shot. But yeah, shooting first, they didn't have the pressure of shooting on higher score of the others. So mm -hmm. team of Norway is approaching the pack knowing that they need at least a 26 or higher. Yeah, if they want to be really, really 100% sure without checking, they need at least a 27 yes because this 26 could easily turn into a uh, 28 <laughs> yeah uh, first arrow it's a uh, 10 yeah it's the one just 
high, the higher ten, the highest, like yeah. the one at twelve, not the ones at. Yeah. So I think the closest hero to the center is still from Austria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, it's still the the Austrian longbows one. Okay, so second arrow for Norway. Oh, and that, that is, is another it. ten. Uh -huh. So now, what do we have here? <laughs> Could be. Ah, uh, if they are gonna shoot an eight, I think they will have to. Yeah. To check the distance of the tens, so eight or higher. That is an eight. And that is an eight. So, so we need, we need a, yeah. a confirmation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I but mean, the, the, nearer one, the nearest one was, I think, from Team Austria. So if the last arrow from Austria was a liner 10, I think they might have won. Oh, uh, I don't know. There are so many if in yeah. this. <laughs> Of that, I think I we should really wait for the judges. Judge is checking the arrows. Oh my god, the nerves! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I think they know because the teams are shaking their hands. Yeah. <laughs> they know we don't. And I cannot see. Who is smiling more? No, so me neither. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh ja they are checking with the, ja with the is compass, I think. Or is checking the line. I don't know. Oh my god. But wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what I should have. Yeah, with the lens. Like. Oh, okay. Oh, no, the compass. Yeah. The compass. So they need to figure out which arrow is closer because yeah. for those who don't know. The, when you tie on a shoot off, the closest arrow to the center win the match. So yeah. it's Team of Austria, European champion. <laughs> we can see a uh, Lambo throwing his hat. <laughs> People are cheering. <laughs> so oh many smiles. This was really <laughs> a crazy <laughs> one. I yeah. Mean, they were like. <laughs> Congrats, guys! Yeah, this was the enthusiasm of this yeah. of this team is. I mean, wh what a shoot off! Wh what a shoot off! I they, mean, they were just behind the Norwegian team. Then they tied, and, and then, then they, they had a shoot off, and they had to check that shoot off. Yeah, and they, they had did. to check the line, and yeah. then the closest arrow. And the better bow arrow was the closest one. Yeah, yeah. What an amazing no, shoot off! The longbow arrow was the closest one. The longbow, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 I mean. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> Good job to both of the team. Huge congratulations to all of them. Great shooting. Now we can see the teams taking photos and we now wait for the award ceremony. So now the, the final placement for women team we have Italy gold medalist, France silver medalist and Spain bronze medalist while in the men team we have Team Austria which is <laughs> cheering obviously is still cheering they are gold medalist then Norway is silver medalist and again Spain is bronze medalist
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the women team. Signore e signori, cerimonia di premiazione della squadra femminile. Europe Technical Delegate Christina Redmeyer Bronze Medal Representing Spain Medaglia di Bronzo per la Spagna Ana Maria Cano Garcia Interna Garido Lazzaro Letizia
gentlemen, please stand for the national item of Italy. Signore e signori, tutti in piedi per l'inno nazionale italiano. Signore e signori, un grandissimo applauso per queste atlete!
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the men team. Signore e signori, la cerimonia di premiazione per la squadra maschile. Paolo Ferrero Bronze medal Medaglia di bronzo Representing Spain Per la Spagna Andres Barroso Caio Valentin Fernandez Alvarez David Garcia Fernandez
Kleti. Once again, for the mixed team gold finals. First up, we have the longbow mixed team gold medal match, which is Italy against Spain, and we have Bassi Ioana 
which we already see, saw in the women team and Lazzaroni Enzo big cheers for them while on the Spanish side we have Garrido, Lazaro and Carna e Fernandez, Alvarez, Jairo, Valentino Yeah, the judge, the judge of the match is gonna be Manfred Pissinger, who I've seen uh, judging before on the first final of the day, and we will have Italy against Spain here, which means uh, some pretty hard cheers. I mean, yeah. I mean, we have, we've already seen the the Italian cheer, and we know about the Spanish cheer. I mean, we too know about the Spanish cheer. Yeah, they are so loud. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they have horns and like mm, they really scream loud. Yeah, I mean, it's the only way to describe it. They are really, really powerful when cheering. Yeah, they, I think we can say both of the teams are there to support their teammates. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's all we can say about them. And uh, but th that that's amazing. I think. The yeah. We we really like that. We we already said that. And uh, I mean, it's really really fun to cheer and to be cheered. <laughs> yeah, too. And also, it's uh, both Italians and Spanish team has some really nice songs. Or <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So now we see that from the ranking round, Italy was first and Spain was third. But once again, Italy chose to shoot second. second. Yeah, I mean, I think in longbow, judging is even harder. And oh, Ooh. that was a good start. Is it ten? A ten, ten or eleven? Maybe eleven. Okay, they marked it as a ten. Well, not nice start. Oh wow! That was uh, another a really, great arrow. really pretty good start. Yeah, two <laughs> arrows, really, really close to each other, and they are two tens. So let's see how the Italians respond. They are now approaching the bag. And I think Iwana is shooting first. I no, no, they are still guessing, obviously. Yeah. Um. Okay, I think they're about to start. Mm -hmm. But and so he's shooting first for Italy. And so he's shooting first. I mean, it's obvious that we see some more long judging here because we have fast shots. And I think that's a time again. Is it? I really cannot Is see because of the shadow. No, that was an eight. Yeah, they marked it as an eight. Uh, maybe a little left, but the height wasn't really bad. So. You wanna hear? And that, that is a ten. A, yeah, I think so. That is a ten. Wow, what a start for yeah. both of the teams. <laughs> I mean, two points apart, but what a uh, first and both from Spanish uh, and Italian archers. But I mean, look at how the the Spanish arrows are so close to each other, almost as one person shot it, shot them. Shot them both. Yeah. yeah. But that, that, that's impressive, that's an impressive first and an impressive start for both of the team. And I don't know if you can hear them, but here are <laughs> the, the horns. Both of the teams cheering for the teammates. Mm -hmm. We can see here from the, the tablet 
that in the semi-finals the Italian team shot against Finland and they won 71-54 while the Spanish team won against Austria 60-57 and the, the, in the bronze medal match that uh, happened two days ago, uh, Finland b uh, has won against Austria. So on the third place, bronze medal was for Finland. Now we can see from the graphic that maybe they had mm, marked up and down some arrows because we are now 18 to... Italy and 18 to Spain. So Spain starts first. Yeah, since they have the same points. Once so 18 18, one of the arrows of the team of Spain was an eight. Yeah. Okay, another eight, another eight here on the Mouflons. That is a five. A oh, high five. I mean, if it took the the horns, it would have been a zero. Yeah. So <laughs> that that that's <laughs> that's <laughs> that's something. Yeah. 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 So Italian team is now approaching the pack. They are checking the targets. Uh, now we can see Italian team is taking a little longer to start shooting. Yeah. They're taking their time to figure out the distance and be sure about what they're gonna do. Yeah, I think maybe the Spanish archers are. There that is an eight. That's an eight. It's almost the same as the first <laughs> yeah. Spanish arrow, and yeah. um, I think maybe the Spanish archers like like to have uh, an idea of the distance before approaching the peg and then probably obviously just adjusting well yeah that that's a five. five so another tie and we now we're sure about this mm -hmm. one so tie score after the second end of this gold medal match 31 31 italy against spain now let's let's have a chat about these archers. As we said before, Joanna was a silver medalist in uh, last year World Championships in Terni, and she was gold medalist with the team in Maribor European Championships in 2021. And now we, now we can say also European team champion. Yeah. Here in Cesena San Sicario 2023 yeah. European 3D Championship exactly then we have uh, Jairo Valentin which was gold mixed team uh, champion in uh, Terni last year and also silver medalist with the team event while uh, Encarna was gold mixed team also with, uh, with Jairo and bronze weed team in turn bronze women team in Terni. when while in maribor she took the gold as an in, as individual oh so the final was <laughs> against the two we verbal women we see here in this mixed team mm -hmm. a match so now we are moving to the third target the turkeys, I yeah, think. I think so. Yeah, turkeys. they almost didn't move, so it's the turkeys. Yeah, they're approaching the blue pack. The blue pack, as we have said before, uh, barebows are shooting from the blue pack, so that means the distance they can shoot is between five to thirty meters. And I think that's a pretty long distance for them. From mm -hmm. this bag, yeah, I think so. Oh wow! Wow, wow. That <laughs> long distance, but a uh, close arrow. That that yeah. is an eleven. Long nice distance, shot. like tiny target, and 
a beautiful arrow, actually. Good job. Let's see with the second one. Oh, that, that is a five. A five. Yeah, it's Low still five. on the target. But 16 points. It's good. Yeah, still is just like two eights. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. But starting with a solid arrow, as we have said before, is really important. So mm -hmm. they got the point. <laughs> yeah, they got distance right and everything. So uh, Italian. It's reassuring. <laughs> yeah. Italian has gotten into the pack. And Enzo is, is approaching the shot. Big breaths. Now it's ready. That's a low five. Mm -hmm. So to tie now, the one and it's an, an 11. 11. <laughs> otherwise, we have one target left. Uh, otherwise, team of Spain will take the lead, and that mm -hmm. would mean. I mean, that's still an eight. That's still an eight. Still a good arrow. Yeah. But as we have said, team of Spain is now leading by three points mm -hmm. and that means team of Italy is starting to shoot first, first on the last end of this gold medal match and one of the most interesting things about 3D archery is now is that we can see many different bows here mm -hmm. For example, this is the long bow, of course, the long bow go and match. And long bows are both all made by wood and they're in you know, uh, one piece bows. Yeah. And also the arrows are uh, can Wooden. only be made yeah. of um, of wood. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty I mean pretty traditional I think. It yeah. dates back to the maybe 100 year war in England. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, the I think that that's the bow that mostly uh, represent the the tra traditional bow the once used as a weapon many many years ago. Mm -hmm. And Italy is now approaching the last end. They approach the target, they approach the pack. The and beavers, I think. Is it the first time we shoot them today? No, I don't think so. No, I think they have shot the beaver on the, the first, first match. Oh, the first match. The women team. I think so. Already. And so is about to shoot. And that, that is an that eight. Is Good arrow, yeah. an eight. Just a little bit high and on the right, but still an eight. So pretty no, good. I I think yeah, this these are really difficult shots because it's they really have to tiny. judge and that they have no sight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Another, okay, eight, another for eight for Ioana. Okay, sixteen points for the team of Italy. And team of Spain is now about to shoot the the ones that could be the last arrows of of today <laughs> for um, them. They need fourteen points to to win and thirteen to have a shoot off. Okay. That is wow. an eight. Is it? Okay, that is an eight. Yeah, so it looked almost like a ten. <laughs> eight to win this match. Eight to win five will mean a shoot off. Oh my God! And that could be a miss. Yeah, I think that could I be. I think he has hit the, the rock. Yeah, just under, just the, under beaver. the beaver. So, as we said, in 3D archery, plot twists are kind of a thing. And <laughs> yeah. we have one, Joanna Bassi and Lazzaroni are the new European champion 
we still need a confirmation from the judges but the results looked clear yeah i think so because we couldn't really see from the from the live stream but from here it looks like it just hit the the rock under the beaver so yeah. i am quite sure there is a mix yeah honestly italians and spanish are shaking the hands so that means no shoot off they're kissing and yeah and they are changing italian italians are the new european champions so congrats to congrats. all four archers and coaches for their gold and, ma and silver medals. No, 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 no. The shoot? What? No. What? Oh, we're sorry. We're sorry. We were wrong. We Plot twist. <laughs> what we again? were wrong. Another shoot off here. Oh, my God. I mean, that means I was almost 100% sure because everyone was cheating. Also, also the shaking. Spanish team thought they have lost. So... They, they're talking to the judge. Yeah. It, it is quite strange. Everyone thought that wasn't a shoot-off and it was a miss. I mean, yeah, we... Okay, now we are waiting for a confirmation. So is the deer going to be hit once again today? We can, we can see some surprised faces all over the field. So, what's gonna happen? Judges are talking. Yeah, everyone thought there was just outside, but I think no, they're, they're approaching. The they're approaching the pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of so. the deer, so. Now Spain is once shoot again off. shooting first, I think. Spain is shooting first. Mm. Yes. No one was prepared. Let's see how they react. Because, I mean, in this case, I, I would be having like uh, an adrenaline, an adrenaline, uh, like... Uh, decrease, yeah. Yeah, decrease, obviously, because I... If you thought the yeah. match is over, all your energy is gone in, <laughs> yeah. in the last moment. How they managed to to proceed and to react. Yeah. Okay, now should be one arrow for each team, I think. Yeah, one I think time. too we will have alternate shooting. So Spain... Spain shot. I mean, okay. I thought so. It should be an eight, just inside. That is a ten. That. That is a ten for Italy. Yeah. So, Second five one. or two points ahead for the Italian team. Ooh, th oh, that's another ten. And that is closer, I think. Wow. Okay. Well, it, it's close. The the ten for Spain is closer. So, Joanna need to shoot eight or higher. Yeah, and that's, that's a ten. That is so for sure. It ten. is confirmed. Italian team is European champion. We're sorry for yeah uh, for the for the mistake the, the mistake <laughs> the previous mistake. But now not now. We are 100% sure. We're sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Judge still needs to give a confirmation. But I mean, this would be 2015 or either 2018, 18. like based on that first arrow from the Spanish team. 
but Italy for sure is the new European champion. Oh my god, chills, literal chills. <laughs> The teams are still cheering, obviously, yeah. because, I mean, they won silver medal. Yeah. It's still a great result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so... Okay, now yeah, we the see team. the joy on Italian faces, both on the archers and on the rest of the team. Okay. No. <laughs> wow, what a fine. We, we have we, we are having some really interesting matches today. Yeah, yeah. It's already two shootoffs and we two shootoffs in a row. Yeah, and we uh, we had only three finals. So wow, wow. wow. Uh, <laughs> in the first match, I said that the deer was safe. It's not. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. <laughs> Of course, of course, I'm joking. All the targets are resembling animals, but yeah. for those who's wondering, they're all made of plastic, plastic yeah. and rubber. Four. So, no, no animals are are being harmed. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, we would really be against it. <laughs> so, sure. <laughs> Okay, the teams, the teams are hugging their friends. What a feeling! Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I would react to no. something like this because honestly, my my adrenaline would be so low after that because when like. When the match is finished, for me, it's really, really finished. It's it's over and it's we over. are over yeah. with the match. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I remember the the feeling of the shooters when we <laughs> we used to be a team in junior category. Yeah. So <laughs> wow. <well, laughs> we had some interesting moments, but no one like that. Yeah. No. No. I mean, when we had shootoffs in the in the youth team in our youth years together we were certain that they were shoot up <laughs> so yeah, we oh, always we, we, we came there prepared yeah exactly so I um, mean yeah okay so now for those who are connecting now we are here in San Sicario um, uh, during the European 3D Archery Championship 2023 um, next match will be traditional bow mixed team gold medal match and we will see Italy against Austria and they are now entering the field and I think we we will see during this match uh, the same athlete we have seen previous during the during the men team because even though if he's shooting uh, with traditional bow he was good enough to be part of the team so uh, athletes have entered for the Italian team Fabio Pizzaluga, Sabrina Vannini will shoot and for team Austria we will have Weinberger, Claudia and Grusold Klaus. So I think that even if the pegs are being moved or something, it should really be helping to to just shoot previous matching on the same field because it really helps you to understand the shots if some targets are tending to one side or another so if the arrows are grouping on the left on the right or high or low it really is helping a lot in field and in 3d, in 3D even more yeah, okay. obviously but yeah, yeah. also uh, well austria as the man who has already shot the final italians have many teammates who have shot the in this field 
So uh, I think the game is even. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, I think they have watched pretty closely all the finals before to <laughs> now understand what what could happen and be fully prepared yeah. for so this match. For the first time, Team Italy chose to start. I don't know, yes. maybe because it depends from one archer to another. So this team decided that they wanted to shoot first and they were more comfortable with that. So, uh, yeah. Or maybe it was because we have so many shootouts in yeah. the data. <laughs> I mean, just uh. as we said before, I wouldn't like to shoot a second in a shoot-off, honestly. So, yeah. The raccoons for wow. the first end. Okay, Sabrina is starting to shoot. And um, we can see the second arrow. And that's an eight. So 13 points in the first target, the first time for Italy. Let's see what Austria will do. The first arrow, I think, is a little bit... I don't know if it's the first or the second, honestly, but it's a little bit on the left, and seeing the target from here, it's really usual to arch the back when you're shooting targets like this, so maybe there was an error. Wow, th wow that, that's a pretty solid yeah. start. <laughs> what a start for the team of Austria. Ten, Ten maybe mm. eleven. Wow. There is a five, I think. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Five also, points. The second arrow on the left, as I was saying, maybe is because the ground is not that even, so they are not balancing correctly, or they are arching their backs, or I don't know. Anything could be <laughs> that is sending the arrows there. Uh, yeah, 15 points to 13 points. Austria is leading by 2 or 3 points. Mm -hmm. We need some confirmations from the judges here. Yeah, I think they are checking yeah, with lenses. We can see it from here, not from the line. Yeah, in the... S we now we can see in the semi-finals both Italy and Austria shot the same score, so 74 points for Italy against Spain and 74 points for Austria against Czech Republic. And while Czech Republic won the bronze, so that means they are mm. on the same <laughs> level. The same exact level. This could be a really close match. Yeah, and I mean, in the ranking round, they were like first and second, so... Great yeah. shooting from Both all of the, the members teams. of these teams. Mm -hmm. Fabio shot his first arrow. I think it's an eight just outside. I, I think the same. Ten, but I don't know. Yeah, they marked it as an 8, not even a, a liner, so... And, and that is another, another 10. Eight, eight, another sorry. 8. Liner mm. 8. Yeah, yeah, the second one is for sure an 8. The first one, maybe... Yeah, I think another 8, otherwise they would have marked it as a 8. So, 16 ten. points on the second end. And team of Austria has now approached the pack. They need 10 points to tie in this end. And Claudia okay. shot a 5. Yeah, the I, I mean, her release didn't seem much steady. I don't know if you had the same... Yeah, probably. Um, 
impression. M- maybe that was the wasn't the best shot of her life. Yeah, obviously. I mean, the tension and everything, it's always uh, tricky to deal with yeah, it. But we can see the the judging of the distance was pretty yeah. good because Oh, Ooh. that's another five. So that means Austria and Italy are now tied. Yeah. So, uh, we are now tied to 26, and that means that for the third set, uh, for the third end, uh, Italy is starting again to shoot first. And uh, we can hear the cheering from Team Italy again. <laughs> again. I mean, they are pretty much full of finals today, so. They will be losing their voices, <laughs> I think. Probably. Probably. Hoping they keep some for tomorrow, but... Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we... I, I mean, I think the... the they're, they're really motivated to cheer. Now they are competing in home soil. Yeah. Yeah, Italian team is not only shooting, but is hosting this yeah, exactly. this European championship. It's even I mean it's even better because as an Italian uh, shooting in Italy uh, an international competition I feel the I felt um, last week the uh, that everyone was really really warm and everything. Yeah. It's really uh, the best feeling I think what the yeah, uh, the, the the feeling you have around you is uh, Uncomparable. Yeah, something less. Something and else. And also, I think I've shown some international fields in my life. And f- fields in Italy, are <laughs> for me, are, are, have, a, have a place in my heart. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Third and the shooting on the turkeys again. Yeah. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving time. <laughs> <laughs> That is an eight for the first arrow here from Fabio. Second arrow is from Sabrina. Oh no. Okay. I mean, she twitched a little bit yeah. when she okay. was aiming, so everyone was shocked. I heard it from the crowd. But she saved it, I mean. And it, even pretty well, I mean. It's an eight still, she so it's an good. Yeah, so 16 points again, I think. I think we actually. Eight. Mm-hmm. 16 also in the previous hand. Yeah. And so, let's see what Austria will do. I mean, we we saw that the nerves can little bit like they are not helping so much well, no, as I archers. Yeah, no, in archery. The tense. Oh, that is that's an eight. An eight. It's really, really about the the mental game in the finals in archery. So the the tension and all the thoughts going through your head could really, really. I mean, yeah, cause are a really important part of the game. It's another eight. So die score again. Yeah, especially in. In this kind of finals, where you show a really, really low amount of arrows, yeah. because it's four four arrows for at, for each athlete, eight arrows total for each team. You don't have many space to yeah, commit to mistakes. Exactly, because you, as in uh, almost every mixed team, you you really need to. Just come back from every mistake that you make, 
and hope that someone from the other team is human just like you and commits yeah. mistakes. Okay, so teams are ready to shoot the fourth end of the match. We can see they are standing on the fifth pack, so that means they are gonna shoot the beaver now. And the total is confirmed, but there were not any liner points. So, 42, 42. And with this tie score, we're about to enter in the last end of the match. So, Fabio shooting first is maybe last arrow of the match. And oh that's God. an 11. That is really, that, really that, that is the, the arrow. <laughs> a pretty, pretty solid arrow. Let's see if Sabrina... Oh my God, already shot. Wow, that, that was quick. But I think and it was really good. Yeah, it's that, a 10. That's a 10. Yeah, that's a 10. That's a really, really solid end. That, yeah, they wanted to put pressure yeah. like, over this the Austrian team. Yeah, because now Austria needs at least the the same score to to, to a shoot off or like the the maximum score to twenty two to, to win. win. So yeah yeah. This will get on their nerves I think. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not easy at all to mm -hmm. approach a target like that with uh -huh. No, no, we not. You need such a high score. That is and an eight. I think. I think that is an eight. So, I'm not saying it. Unofficially. But unofficially, team Italians. Italy. Well, that, that, is, that a is a 10, so oh. that, that is a, a that is I didn't, an 11, so that is a really, really good end for the Austrian, but that is not enough, yeah. I think. Yeah, 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 I think so, because... Italians are coming back. Yeah. And yeah, even I though we don't have a confirmation from the judge yet... For me, it was pretty visible, but wait, wait, let's we will. We, we now, now we know. We have yeah, to wait. <laughs> they are shaking hands. Okay, we can see all. Also, the athletes are are waiting. Yeah, I'm but the Italians, I think they're chilling. <laughs> Sabrina is dancing right yeah. now. I mean, she looks really happy. Yeah, I I think they they already know. I think they know, but we still want to wait. Yeah, because we remember what happened just now. So let's wait for so the confirmation. The judge is about to give his confirmation. Okay, the yeah. judge has told Italian team once again European champion. So also in traditional mixed team, Sabrina Vannini and Fabio Pizzaluga are the new European champion 2023 here in Cesana San Sicario, Italy. So congrats to the archers for the gold and silver medals. Congratulations to all of them. They show a really good match for all of them. 
But yeah, those last arrows for the Italians were, were oh, pretty, really, really good arrows that meant an European title here. Yeah, I mean, not everyone is like has the nerves to shoot like an 11 and a 10, which is one point from the from the maximum in the last end when you are tied with your opponent and you need to put passion on your opponent <laughs> yeah you're right but uh, i mean <laughs> no, it, it, we can see spanish team is is chilling anyway <laughs> you know team of austria here is congratulating with their athletes because well silver medal at the european championship mm -hmm. And, I mean, today uh, the weather is actually pretty good. It's sunny and it's not so hot, not so cold. And it's been like this for the whole week, right? Yeah, I, this week during the 3D Championship, the weather has been really good. And this way we had the chance to see all the beautiful mountains that surround this place which also some competitions also in the Olympics in, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, 2006 while the last week when we shot the European <laughs> Field Championship well the weather is not being so gentle with us no it wasn't as good <laughs> right now we have the Bebo Mixed Team Gold Medal Final and we have France which was first after the qualification round against Spain, which was third after the qualification round. We have Cano Garcia, Ana Maria for Spain, and Vera bring us uh, Cesar. When, while for France, we have Boma Alicia, which was shooting also in the women team gold final against Italy and Jackson David I think Jackson David was world champion last year in Yankton if I remember right Yeah, and you are right because he was World Field Champion in Yankton last year and also World 3D Champion e last year in uh, Terni, Italy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, France. Yeah. France decided to shoot first. Yeah, in France. The final because they were first, so they had the right to decide whoever they wanted to shoot first. And also, David is shooting first. <laughs> okay, he shot the first arrow and it should be a 5. But we don't know where it is. And we I think there is a problem with the timing system don't actually know what's wrong but something's wrong for sure yeah they have stopped shooting and I mean David has stepped back from the peg while Alicia is still there okay I okay. think the judges say she can go. Yeah, I think the their first arrow is for sure valid because the the timer 
actually started when David was shooting, if I am not wrong. Yes, but also an arrow well, that has been shot is... is okay, is that a 10? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. 15, first hand for France. Oh, Spain, Spain is now approaching the pack. Okay. So the Spanish team is now shooting. So Cesar is now aiming. That seemed like a pretty solid shot, but I really can eight see the arrow. Oh, okay. Eight points on the first arrow of this final for Spain. And Ana Maria is now approaching the shot. I think that's another eight. Could be. Yeah, it should be another eight. Yeah. Two eight. Sixteen points to fifteen points for Spain to France. So second and France is starting to shoot first again. Mm -hmm. And Spain is leading by just one point after the first end. So. Uh, uh, for people who don't know, now we are seeing the verbal gold medal match. Uh, and if you can see, how oh, you can see, respect the previous matches, the balls now are more, more I can say technological. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're made of more pieces, and they they can I have a plugger here which up directionate the arrow and it's kind of the same as recurve bow but without clicker and sight and mm -hmm. of course stabilization but yeah it's just like I think it could be defined the the evolution of the previous ones maybe yeah <laughs> the <laughs> the step in the middle from traditional bow and recurve okay now we had some problems because actually Spain should start so France had 18 points so that means that the first arrow of France was not a 5 but was a, an 8 yeah maybe it was a liner I didn't notice, but we couldn't really see that, so maybe it's because of that. Okay. Anyways, Spain, Spain is starting to shoot, and they are just two points below the French team. Wow, that was a pretty solid shot. It could be an 11, I think. Yeah, 10, 11 liner. What a start. <laughs> yeah. And I also really, really liked his technique because he seemed like pretty, pretty yeah, he's secure steady. about the, the shot and he, he had the right energy and also really a pretty, pretty shot. That is an eight. eight. Anyway, 18, maybe 19 points for Spain. 
trying to put pressure on the team of friends that was leading after the first end. So, David Jackson, I think, is gonna shoot the first arrow of this end for friends. Yeah, he is already on string. We also see that it's a little bit inclined. It's a little bit uphill. Okay, and that's an eight. Liner eight. <laughs> and it's just high. a little bit high, so maybe misjudging or just the fact that was a little bit uphill. Uphill, yeah. And that is a tricky target, so. Mm -hmm. Leech is now shooting. Quick shot. Yeah. Uh, still a good shot. Eight yeah. points also for her. That means unofficially tie score or Spain could be now leading by one point yeah. entering in the third end of this match. And yeah, we need the confirmation for the first arrow of yeah. Spain. And also, I noticed that Alicia actually was touching her, her hat with the string while shooting the arrow. So I was a little bit worried because oh. if I was about, if I was to to do that, I don't think that the arrow would be that good. So <laughs> yeah, let's see if they marked the first one up. We we don't have any confirmation yet. For now, 34-34 tie score mm -hmm. after the second end of this medal match. Okay, we have no. now one point ahead for Spain because that was an 11, just as we we thought. So one point ahead. That means France is going to start on this third. And and they're gonna shoot, I think, on the beavers. Mm, yeah. yeah, 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 definitely. So they are already on the pack. And David Jackson is now judging. And now he's ready. Okay. Wow, that I think I that's a good ten. shot. Yeah, I saw some uh, a, a little twitch. Yeah, I, I, I I've noticed the same, but he saved that, 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 that was uh, enough. Ten points, good arrow for David Jackson. A great 3D shooter. And also field shooter, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> as we said. Now, Alicia, let's see. Wow, another quick shot. Mm -hmm. eight, eight points for her. Yeah, she wasn't, she didn't seem really pleased with that one. But, I mean, it's still an eight, so it's 18, not that bad. 18 points they, they are taking home. Um, yeah. Still a um, solid uh. end. I think it puts a little pressure on the Spanish because it's it they have still a ten, and as we said, we the liners here actually go from five to eight and then ten, so they either need to score ten ten to have two points in this end or ten eight because otherwise they would be two points below. At yeah. least two points below. Yeah. And also, 
shooting up some good arrows here. It's important because it's easy to misjudge a target, and misjudging a target could mean. And no, That's he got name. it right. Yeah, yeah. Ten, ten. Oh, it's a ten. So, good first arrow for Spain. And let's see how Ana Maria will respond to the French team. Taking deep breath. Oh, that's the five. Yeah, just outside the eight. So, 15 points. Spain, which was leading, entering in this. And is now two points below the team of France. As we said, in 3D archery, nothing is written until the last arrow have eaten the target. So, yeah, two right. points can really disappear quickly. <laughs> the French girl is dancing. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's a little, it's a little way to just shake the pressure off you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. And plus, that's it means she's having fun. Yeah. And that I mean, that's the best thing that's you can point. do when yeah. you're shooting a final. Why you should let the pressure take the control over you mm -hmm. while you can just enjoy what you're doing. And. Meanwhile, do the best that you can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also like the other way around. If you're enjoying yourself, you... 99% of the cases, you are actually doing your best because you are focusing on the shots and not on the performance. So, let's see how the Spanish team reacts to this two-point difference. Okay, I think Spanish team is ready to shoot on the last end of this gold medal match, the last official end because there is still the case of a shoot off here. Mm -hmm. They are shooting on the target that resembles the boars. Yes, the number six. So. Is is aiming and I think it could be could an be eleven, 11 or eleven. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow! Pretty good judging in the distance. He's here. Nice shot. Let's see with the second one. That was fast, but yeah. that was, I think, uh, 10, but really close to the 11 circle. So, oh, wow. what a way to finish. They wanted to put pressure, and they did. They, they certainly did. No. So, 21 points here. That means uh, that France need to shoot 20. at least 20 points to secure the gold medal here. So at least two tens, nothing less. And they are on the pack now. So in a few moments we will see what the French team will respond to this amazing end from Spain. I think they're ready. Mm -hmm. They were judged. They're really thinking about this, obviously. <laughs> of course. Wow! Oh, no, that, that is an 11. What an arrow. What an arrow. So, okay. Now, this was so, some three really good arrows from both of the teams. Let's see what 
Alicia would yeah would shoot and now still she needs a 10 to win because otherwise with the 8 we will have a shoot off no oh no, wow. that is a 10 that is oh a 10 God. The what a performance, what a performance. For, from all of the athletes here. I mean, all the four of them have shot really good arrows. This last end has been, wow, an amazing yeah. end for both of the team. But no, team of France are the new European champions yeah. here in San Sicario. Like, the Spanish team did everything they could on their yes, last they, they, I mean, they would have they have to be happy about the performance yeah and they have to be happy about especially the performance on this on the they last started, target yeah. they they did their best they they showed amazingly but sometimes you're good and yeah the other people should better so yeah. friends alicia Boomer eric jackson are the new European champion. I think Alicia is really enjoying her stay here in San Sicario yeah. because <laughs> she's having some amazing weeks. Yeah, she was she was first in the individual event last. Yeah, she and also in the team event. With yes, the she, women team, I think. She she was European. She is now European field champion, winning both team event and the and the individual event. And now we can see we will see her again tomorrow. She will shot against Ana Maria, the, the opponent, <laughs> in the semi-finals. And, yeah, so we will see her again tomorrow. Mm. So now we are preparing for our last final of the day. Yes. The compound mixed team gold medal match. Italy against Austria. In this case, both of the team has one person who has already shot in this afternoon because Irene Franchini shot the gold medal match and won the gold medal previous this afternoon. And for Austria, Nico Wiener shot in the men team and won the gold medal in the men team. So, it's fair. Yeah, I think so. We really need to to watch this too. Yeah, well, both of them are already European champions, yeah. and one of them will come back home with two gold medals today. And also, as we can see uh, from the ranking round, Austria was first, while Italy was second. So again, pretty even. Also, yes, from this side. Okay, from team Austria, we have. Ingrid Ronaher and Nico Wiener just as before while from Team Italy we have Irene Franchini and Jesse Sutt Okay, so the athletes are now approaching the first peg again on the raccoons and let's see if Austria decided to start or to let Italy start, but 
judging from what we are seeing, I think Austria will shoot first because they are already like talking to each other about the distance and uh, having a look at uh, the target with their scopes. Yes, um, okay, so Nico, I think, will be the first one to shoot in this last match of the day. Should be a ten liner, maybe. Hey, no, no. it's an eight just outside. It was a pretty long hold, I think. Let's see how Ingrid does on her arrow. That should and be a ten. I, I think, think that's a ten. Yes. Oh, maybe an eleven. Could be an eleven. So now it's Italy's turn. So, Irene will be the first one to shoot. And also, what we see here is that in three D and field archery, the the coaches can actually cover the the athletes faces or sides from the sun because we happen to have some uh, difficult shots in the sun with when it's in our eyes so it could be tricky for the aiming process etc and uh, let's see it's a low eight i think Okay, but I think if she has misjudged, she will help Jesse. So yeah. now we can see Jesse yeah. fixing his sides. Yeah, he is moving it, so maybe it was misjudging from Irene. And also because the, the arrow seems seemed shot pretty good, so... Yeah. It's... It looks like a it's higher or ten eleven yeah. liner. Okay, again. So, <laughs> so eighteen maybe nineteen for Austria, eighteen maybe nineteen for Italy. Same score. We need confirmation once again to see yes. whoever is shooting first. Anything can happen. They can be. They can be tied. They can. But either of them can be leading by one point. Mm -hmm. So, while we're waiting for the second end, we can talk a little bit about Austrian team. We have uh, Nico Wiener uh, uh, in as male, uh, the and he has won <laughs> a kind of a lot recently. But in 3D archery, he is. Um, I yeah, he was gold individual in 2022 Terni and silver team in also in Terni and bronze individual in 2019 and also gold individual in 2015 and but, but in the last European Championship uh, he was European champion, yeah, individual European champion, uh, champion in the last uh, European Championship in Maribor 2021. While uh, Ingrid in uh, uh, Terni last year won individual bronze and uh, si silver with the team. So two consistent uh, shooters in 3D. Now we have just the confirmation and Italy is starting to shoot first because the 10 from Nico was actually an 11 for the judge so Irene okay. is now 
uh, guessing her distance on the turkeys and she is approaching the shot. Okay, there's ten. ten. Just on the right and a little tiny bit high, but I mean, it would have been an 11. Yeah, anyways. that was a pretty good start. Mm -hmm. 10 points for Irena. Let's see what Jesse will respond. Another 10, just a little bit low. So 20 points for the Italian team, Jesse Sud, Irene Franchini. And now team of Austria has reached the pack. And as you can all see, uh, differently than in the previous matches, the athletes are now shooting from the red pack. So that means they can shoot between 5 meters to 45 meters and that's on 11 I think line 11 uh, yeah it could it be that it's just like the first one we need to really wait for the judges to tell us because it's pretty close and we can't really see from here okay Ingrid is now shooting And that is a 10. That is a 10, yes. Just aside from Nico's arrow. So same height, but a little bit more on the right. So 39-38. Austria is certainly leading, but let's see if, if they're leading by one point or two points after the second end. And now talking a little bit about the um, Italian team, we have Irene Franchini. Uh, which, uh, well, yeah, we have already seen her today, but in the last uh, World Championship, she won the gold medal with the team and came out fourth individually. Uh, in the last European 3D Championship in Maribor 2021, she won individual gold and team gold medal and also she has won many medals in all the different specialties also with the record because uh, as we remember she has been an Olympian for the Italian team yeah she well, was a really good shooter also yes. with the record ball so yes and Jesse Sut which is the youngest of the Italian uh, of this Italian mixed team uh, he has he is also a uh, Good, really good archer in all of the disciplines but she was uh, she won the silver medal in the team event in Maribor 2021 and the individual bronze medal in uh, also in Maribor So, okay, we just saw that Nico's second error was again an 11. So now Austria is leading with two points and Italy is shooting first with Irene's first arrow of the third. That's okay. an 11. Yeah, it's for sure an 11, yeah. We Good don't shot. even need confirmation here. <laughs> Good shot for Irene on the beaver. Yeah, that Another was a 11. pretty good arrow. The the shot was really really good and it was really solid so the arrow just landed there obviously. 22 points for Italy. So they're trying to gain back the two points of difference with the Austrian team. And they certainly put a tiny little bit, just a tiny. <laughs> little uh, pressure. pressure on them, yeah.
I think yeah. that's yeah. 11. Eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. Three strong shots. Mm -hmm. So let's see if Ingrid will keep this level. That is a ten. Yeah. Still so I mean. still a good shot. Yeah. But that means yeah. that entering in the first in the fourth and last end of this match, the difference between Italy and Austria will be of just one point yeah and we can have a look on how the these teams uh, came all the way here we had austria winning against france 84 to 82 while italy won at the shoot off against germany because the, both the teams had 79 points and they had a shoot of 22 both but the one of the 11s from the Italians was like closer, closer to, the, to center. the center. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that was uh, that was an impressive match mm -hmm. and an impressive shoot off. But uh, in the bronze medal match, France was lost against Austria, beat uh, has beaten Germany. So the bronze medal will be given to France. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are about to enter in the last end of the day and we will be shooting on on the boards. On the boards, yeah. Okay. Okay, and Italians are starting again. So Irene once again judging the distance and Looking at the target, also having a chat with the uh, with Daniele Bellotti, the the coach. She is a little bit second guessing the site, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think they're placing the site before entering on the peg and then just mm -hmm. adjusting based on what they see. Mm, yeah. Oh, oh, that's no. a low eight. Yeah, close to the ten. <laughs> there but was, I think, a little misjudging. Yeah, but Jesse, Jesse is correct to his side, and it is now. <laughs> no, I don't know. He sure. wants to be a hundred percent sure. Obviously, so, now now he's ready. He's shooting. And. And that is a time yeah, just a close time. to the eleven. So eighteen points for Italy. That means that Austria needs at least again eighteen points since they had one one po point. They were on point ahead. So yes, eighteen points to secure the European title. They both seem really calm. I don't know, maybe it's just my impression. But yes, but yeah. they are really experienced art athletes, mm -hmm. so I think they they know how to handle the pressure on a final. Yeah. Especially Nico, she he has won so many competitions and Is it an eleven? I think that's yeah. an eleven, yes. Okay. So that means eight to win. Big breath. That was a quick shot, but a good shot. Eleven. Ten points, team of Austria.
Russia, Nico Wiener and Ingrid Ronacher are the new European mixed team champion mm -hmm. for Compound. So Great shooting. Congrats to both teams for their medals and for their shooting. Yes, they have shot 82 points. So, really good score, really good match. Good job. Yeah, of course. Wait for the confirmation, obviously. Yes, we can see from the face of the athletes that they are sure about the result. Mm. I Austria think. is the... Oh, oh what up? What's happening there? Um, okay, the, the judge just fell. Okay. But I don't know if he tripped or if he, he's not feeling well. Okay. He's stepping back. Okay, we are still waiting for the confirmation, but... Okay, yeah. Austria are the new European champion. So, they're happy, high five for them. Congrats. Congratulations to both of the team again. I think we will see each other again tomorrow for the individual finals mm -hmm. and we will see many of the athletes who are, have competed today because also Irene Franchini and Jesse Sut they have lost this match but they, have, uh, they both have a chance tomorrow because mm -hmm. they will compete for in the semi-finals in the semi -finals tomorrow morning and hopefully we will see both of them here again tomorrow. So now we we say goodbye, and hopefully we will uh, we will see each other tomorrow. And have a good evening to everyone who is following us with this live stream. And now we have the award ceremony for the mixed teams.
Champions Medaglia d'oro e campioni europei representing Italy per l'Italia Ioana Bassi e Zola Zoroni Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Italy. Signore e signori, tutti piedi per l'inno dell'Italia.
Gentlemen, the traditional mixed team gold medal match. Signore e signori, la finale per the victory ceremony for the traditional mixed team. Signore e signori, la cerimonia di premiazione del arco tradizionale mixed team. Technical delegate Christina Reidmeyer. Gift will be presented by organizing committee president Paolo Ferrero. Bronze medal, medaglia di bronzo. Representing Czech Republic. Per la Repubblica Ceca, Cervina Coravegna, Tomas Rodnowski. per l'inno nazionale italiano
applause to our athletes. Signore e signori, un caloroso applauso per questi atleti. the victory ceremony for the Purple Miss Team. Signore e signori, la cerimonia di premiazione del Arco Nudo Mix Team. Presented by World Archery Europe Executive Board Member Jean Michel Clerua. Gift will be presented by World Archery Europe Technical Delegate Christina Reidmeyer. Bronze Medal Medaglia di Bronzo. Representing Austria, per l'Austria, Rosemary Liner, Peter Ghetto.
Champions, Medaglia d'Oro e campioni europei representi France per la Francia, Alicia Bonnard, David Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of France. Signore e signori, tutti in piedi per l'inno della Francia. Signore e signori, un caloroso applauso per questi atleti. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Compound Mixed Team. Signore e signori, la cerimonia di premiazione per il Compound Mixed Team. Presented by World Archery Europe Technical Delegate Christina Redmeyer.
this will be presented by organizing committee president Paolo Ferrero. Bronze medal, medaglia di bronzo, representing France, Anne Hibbard, Jean Pauler.